Why hello there all you sexy subscribers. My name is Oswald. Happy June, the month of pride, or as we like to say, the month of swellness. I thought I would start off this swell month, by making a video response, to Drew Pickles Goes to Big City, where I tell you everything, that happened from my point of view. If you have not seen my swell retelling, yet you should know that Drew Pickles accepted all of us into the Barney Bunch left parenthesis excluding Henry Wright parenthesis. However, because the Nickelodeon staff were dicks, they didn't want Drew Pickles on the set for fear it would ruin the show, by having a sudden crossover. One faithful day, the Nickelodeon staff were on break. Drew Pickles took advantage of this, and went off to the big city. When we heard that Mr. 300 Miles of Swellness was heading our direction I mean direction we got so excited, and so rampy, that we just decided to behave as our on-screen characters, because the video would have been shorter, if we'd just been ourselves. Henry didn't need to act in character, because he always acts like he does. Secretly though, he was excited about Drew's arrival too. When other people heard the news, they began to line up. The majority of those people were Mexicans, because they secretly loved Drew Pickles. Little did we also know, Drew Pickles knew we were acting like this, but he decided to play along with it, because it's more fun that way. I must admit, being in character as my on-screen self was harder ha <laughs> harder than I'm making it out to be. I tried my hardest not to jerk off, while watching Drew's car speed draping the line of males, and smacking the cars with female drivers. I had hoped my car could do the same, the wind-up car I had owned back then anyway. Fun fact, after Drew's arrival, the Big Diner has kept the new recipe for the mystery lunch, and it is a big hit with all the gay poopy faggots in Big City. The original recipe is still available after many complaints by Henry the Penguin. But he's the only one who still likes the original mystery lunch. The same can be said for the shit berry swirl. After the whole rape session, Johnny the Snowman added it to his menu on the snow testicle shack. Johnny didn't call himself Big Chungus at the time, Drew came ha 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 came to the big city, so I'm just gonna refer him as such for this story. Soon the other male characters lined up around my house, so they could get the sexy sensation of Drew's pee pee penis in their tight little cornholes. When he got to my apartment, he first went to Henry's place, where of course Henry tried to call the police. By police, of course, I mean his secret but buddy boy, Officer Penguin. Little did Henry know, he would lose his virginity that day. I could hear what was happening from below my apartment room, and Henry was throwing another one of his pissy fits, and it sounded something like, no 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 you're violating my poor feathers you sick bastard I can hear them falling off you're soiling my expensive spoon collection. Display of my favorite fish faces, record player, penguin patrol outfit, and entire physical room. <laughs> How the heck can you shove my entire room up your featherless ass? <laughs> and you're you not your big banana. <laughs> oh no, what's this feeling in my cock? I'm scared. Please help. Oh shit, I think something's coming out. Soy 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 my poor feathers and the warranty is still valid for one more day after hearing all of that my octo penis expanded i heard drew walking up the stairs but i could not let him see me with an erection drew banged on the door with a knockity knock knock but i didn't answer because i was trying to hide my cockity cock cock i tried to tell my dog wiener to answer the door but he wouldn't listen, so I tried again, 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 but he wouldn't listen, and after many attempts I tried to seduce him, this seemed to work. However, at that moment, it was too late, Drew Kickity Kick kicked the door down, when he saw me seducing Wiener with my Dickity Dick Dick, which had gone down at that point. Drew then smacked Wiener far into the future, but in reality, he smacked him so hard, that he was in the air for a week. I was going through all stages of grief in one second, but in my mind I thought to myself, that should teach him for not opening the door. I asked who the fuck he was, pretending I didn't know who he was, and he briefly told me who he was, and what he wanted to do. Shortly after that, we had our sexual orgy. I didn't think my tentacles would make great dildes, but they sure did in Drew's case. I was amazed at how many stuff he could shove up his feces maker, so I made it a point, to practice doing what he does, so my ass would expand to a big size, not as huge as the goatsy man's anus, but still pretty big. Little did we know, Dan Yakarino was also there, playing the manager, and he too loved Drew Pickles, but he wanted to keep it a secret, because he knew he would get sex from him faster in these ghost of videos, if he played the role of the manager. Drew raped him of course, and all throughout he was loving every second of it. 
Yes, everything else Dan Yakra noted looks like my show. I wonder when people will start making Will as Wildlife Speakonia videos. I would love to see those three penguins meet Henry and have a gangbang together. The Nickelodeon staff soon came back and kickity kick kick drought. Oh well, it was swell when it happened. That about wraps up my story on the day Drew came ha ha came to visit the big city. Until next time, this is your old friend Oswald, reminding you that if you run into any homophobes during this month, teach them a lesson by turning them gay. Goodbye.